Hi everyone, Anshita Desaid. Welcome back to AB Automation Hub. In this video, we will see how we can handle 4xx or 5xx calls in Cypress. So these are basically your bad request or internal server error if you want to handle this in Cypress. So in Cypress, if we have to make a call to HTTP request, we use the command cy.request. But there is a tricky part. So Cypress by default treats any non 2xx or 3xx status as a assertion failure. So in case if you're making a call and if your API is returning a bad request or internal server error, so by default, Cypress will fail that test case. Even though if you've provided an assertion, you want to verify if the status code is 400 or 500, then also Cypress will fail that test case. So to handle this case in Cypress, we have to use an option fail on status code as false. We have to pass this in our cy.request. So we have the sample API, which is a get users API. In this API, I'm passing the wrong path parameter, which is unknown 23. And if I hit this API in the response, see, I'm getting the status code as 404, not found. Fine. So we are going to handle the same case in our code today. First of all, we will make a call using cy.request and then we'll perform an assertion. So I will just copy this URL and let's go to our editor. So we have already a sample test case over here in which I have mentioned the describe and it block. So if you do not know what is it, I have created a detailed video on the Mocha hooks in which you can see how we can create test case in Cypress. Coming back to our case, which is sending an HTTP request to a URL and performing an assertion based on the response. So how we can do that? We have to use command cy.request. Inside it, now you have to pass the method. So what is the method? So HTTP method is get in this case. I can show you again. So this is our get call. Fine. And then you have to pass the URL. So I've already copied the URL. So what is our URL? This is the URL value. Next thing is, if you want to pass headers, we don't have any additional header for this request. So I'm not going to pass it. So this is our code to make a HTTP call to this URL. Next thing is, we want to perform an assertion. So if, in order to perform an assertion, first of all, we will save the response of this API call, and then we will perform further assertion. So for that, I will use dot then, and create a callback function. Inside it, we'll perform our assertion. So I'll just pass a parameter over there. I'll name it as a response. So this response will actually hold the response of this API call. So in the assertion, we are going to check if our status code is 404. So for that, I will write expect response.status because this is coming as a status code. That's why I'm writing response.status. And then what is our expected value? We are expecting it to be 404. So for that, I will use the syntax to be equal. And our status code is 404, like we saw over here in the API, you see. So we are expecting 404. This is our expected status code. In this case, we have made a get call to this URL, and then we are expecting the response code to be 404. So now let's run the test case and let's see. Go to the terminal, enter the command and fix Cypress open. Now select end-to-end -end testing. Now select the browser. This is my test case, bad request API. If I execute it, why this is failing? Like I mentioned, if it is, if your request is not 2xx or 3xs, you can see this was considered as a failure because your status code is not 2xx or 3xs. Although you can see over here, the response code found is 404, which is same what we have passed in the response assertion, but still it is failing. So in order to handle this, you have to pass this fail on status code as false. So this is the best thing about Cypress in case if there is any failure by just looking at this log, by just reading the message, you will get to know, yeah, this is what we have to pass. So we are going to pass fail on status code as false in our cy.request call. And then we will see it will be passed. Now let's go to editor and let's pass an option over here. So you have to pass it fail on status code and false. By default, this is true. So we are just making it false and we will just rerun our test case. And in this case, you see, now it is getting passed. So this is a tricky interview question. If some interviewer asks you how to handle bad request or, you know, failure scenarios in Cypress, you have to mention, you have to pass fail on status code as false. So I hope you find the video informative. And if you find it useful, Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. 